Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Today I'm participating in this month's collaboration and the country that we're visiting today is Singapore. So come on, let me show you how I'm going to make this dish. Alright guys, so I have been getting a lot of heat from people, several people actually. <laughs> Vanessa, Shania, and Carla, you guys have been after me to be on camera more. I'm going to give this a shot like, you know, I'm recording by myself. So it's a little bit difficult, but I'm going to give this a try. All right. Let me show you guys what uh, my ingredients are. Now, customarily for this dish, uh, red snapper is used, but I don't have any snapper. What I have is pompano. And I like this fish because it can hold up to cooking a lot better like you know it won't fall apart or anything like that so I really like this so that's what I'm using now you know how I do I wash this very very well with um, lime juice and water you want to open your fish and clean out all of that blood that you see there on the spine and in the head and everywhere get it out get everything out wash it very properly and then what I season this with is one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning obviously this is not really used in the original um, recipe but I like the flavor of this so I'm using it I also added in half a teaspoon of black uh, not black pepper garlic powder half a teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of my chicken bouillon mixed all that together and rubbed it all over my fish hair and I cut slits in my fish I don't know if you can see that and I just rubbed it everywhere all right let me show you the rest of my ingredients what I have here is about 10 or so dried chilies that I soaked in some hot water I also have here this is tamarind now if you don't know what tamarind looks like it looks like this this is one pod and you break it open and this is the pulp that's inside so I have one whole one of these and I soaked it in about I'll say maybe about a quarter of a cup of water and what I'm gonna do is mush it up and get the seeds out and we're just gonna use the pulp and the liquid okay uh, some of the next ingredients I have here is a half of a teaspoon of methi or fenugreek it's called one teaspoon of coriander seeds and one teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds so I'm gonna toast these get them in my spice blender and so I will have this ready for when we're going to cook we're also gonna be using some turmeric and curry powder and we're also going to be using here one shallot, a knob of ginger, I have five cloves of garlic, I have a few curry leaves, probably about 10 of them. I have some okra or lady fingers. Now I didn't um, cut these up, I just cut off the top part but not all the way to the seeds because I don't want it to be slimy into my into my sauce and usually little um, eggplants are used but I'm allergic to eggplants so I'm gonna add this little um, squash and the next thing that I have here is one stalk of lemongrass so what I'm gonna do is get my garlic ginger uh, my shallot if you don't have a shallot you can use an onion and i'm also going to get these chilies i'm not going to use all of the water if i need water to go around in my blender i will do that two more ingredients this can of coconut milk and i'm also going to add this to my blender so let me get that done and i'll come on back <laughs>
guys. So here is my curry paste and I have two tablespoons of vegetable oil in here. I'm just gonna get this in here and this part you do not wanna rush. So I'm gonna have this here cooking slowly, maybe for about 10 minutes because you wanna make sure that your essentially your curry paste is cooked through nicely. So remember my, what do you call it, jeera, coriander seeds, and the meti or fenugreek. Here it is, after the spice blender. I'm adding that in. All of these are gonna toast together. Also gonna go in with my turmeric. I'm adding in a good teaspoon and a half. I'm gonna add a little bit of curry powder. I'm gonna say about a teaspoon. And like I said, I'm just gonna keep sauteing this here. Now what you wanna look for is for your oil to separate from this paste. So you wanna cook it enough so that the liquid comes out of it and then you can see the oil oozing off to the side all right so i will see you back here in a little bit all right it's been about three minutes and i'm going to go in with my curry leaves i'm just going to strip them off of the stem now guys while i um doing this i want to remind you that this is a collaboration and my friends if you go in the description box below you will see a list of every one of them that will be participating in this collab and each of us will be making a different dish from Singapore. You do not want to miss it. So go on down in my description and check them out. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see what I mean by the oil kind of separating from my curry. So now what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. Maybe about half a teaspoon. I'm gonna add some of my chicken bouillon. Couple of teaspoons. Now, like I said before, you can choose not to use this and just use salt. I'm going in with my tamarind pulp. Let me give this a mix here. Now you want to give this a taste because we're using tomato in here. We're also using tamarind and um, you might need to balance off the flavors here by adding a little sugar. I think I'm going to add some. Okay, here I have about a teaspoon of brown sugar. I'm going to add a little more water, maybe about a quarter of a cup. Get this mixed around here. Also gonna add in my lemongrass. Now you wanna give this a couple of wax so it'll help it to release its flavor. And I'm gonna cover this and let it cook for maybe another five minutes or so. All right, so it's been a few minutes here and now what I'm gonna do is add in my coconut milk. This is one can, 5.6 ounces. Give that a stir. Again, you know, you're adding liquid here, so you're probably going to need to adjust your seasoning. And we're also gonna add some veggies again. You're gonna need to adjust your seasoning. It's time to introduce the star of the show. Now, this is fish head curry, but I had a whole pompano, so I'm using the whole pompano. Going in with the fish head. Lucia, I know you don't wanna see this. <laughs> My friend Lucia say, I can't look at the eyes, I can't. Alrighty, let me try to find a way to fit them in here. Should have thought of that before choosing this pan. All right, get in all of our 
sauce in here. And I'm just gonna get, cover my fish here with all of the sauce. And now we're just gonna add in our veg. Let's get that in here. So now I think I'm gonna have, oh my goodness, look at what I just did. I'm gonna have my heat on medium and I'm gonna lift this up and cook it for, I would say about 20 minutes, okay? All right, guys, it has been 20 minutes. And I want you to see what this looks like. Look at that. All right, here goes my taste test. I have some rice, a one okra, and a piece of the fish head. So since the fish head is the star of the show, we're gonna go for that first. Mmm. Mmm. Got a bone. The, the taste of the tamarind is really coming through nicely. And it gives a really nice flavor to, to the fish. Tamarind goes really well with seafood. The coconut, mmm. Taste of the islands for sure. Really nice and as expected, the pompano held together very nicely. Piece of my okra. Like I said, I didn't cut it in a way so that the slime would leak all over my sauces. I don't like that. And I have a little bit of basmati. Mm. Yeah. That's yummy. Don't be intimidated by the fact that I use a fish head. It's just as yummy. You can use another kind of fish or like I said, fillets. But be gentle with the fillets because they'll break apart. Also remember that this is a collab going down in my description box. Visit my friends because they'll be making some fantastic dishes. Vanessa, Shania, and Carla, and everybody else who's been begging me to be on camera. I'm on camera. All right, guys. Thanks for visiting. I hope you come back next time because you know I'll be making another delicious recipe. Bye.